Doctors say the rates of feeding and eating disorders skyrocketed during the pandemic, especially among teenagers. Here to tell us about some signs to watch for when it comes to these illnesses is Dr. Kristen Gregory with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. So this obviously got worse during the pandemic and hasn't gotten better since. Yeah, correct. Really with the disruption of routines and the increased isolation during the pandemic, it set up a perfect storm. Um, and there's been an, an increase um, in calls to helplines and rates of feeding and eating disorder, disorders have really skyrocketed, especially among teenagers. When we see somebody with uh, drastic weight loss, that certainly is a sign, but what are some other things that we should be looking for that aren't so obvious? Um, weakened immune system, muscle weakness, sleep problems, um, wounds that heal, heal poorly, uh, cuts and calluses across the top of the finger joints. We can sometimes see if somebody's purging, uh, which is self-induced vomiting, and that can lead to you know dental problems, as well as a whole social change that somebody might experience. You know, they might be uncomfortable eating around others or they might have, you know, a very dramatic weight loss in a short period of time. And I know certainly we have heard about eating disorders and anorexia, but can you talk about some of the other different disordered eating that people have? Sure, so basically um, eating disorders are a unhealthy relationship with food or exercise. And uh, they come in different types. Um, anorexia is one of the most common ones, as you said. But there's also bulimia, which is characterized by these binge eating disorders when somebody might consume an amount of food that's much larger than what most individuals would eat under a certain uh, time and are certain similar circumstances. And then after the bulimic, the binging episode, uh, there can be purging or um, use of laxatives or over exercising to kind of undo the binge eating uh, that you've done. There also can be binge eating without purging, which is called a binge eating disorder. The good news is that there is help for all of this in terms of therapy. There are also prescriptions. How can people get help? Well, I think, as you know, the first thing to do is to look for signs of the disorder. Um, and what are some of the things that are happening and a good person to check in with might be your family doctor um, because they can test for things like abnormal laboratory findings because having an eating disorder can cause anemia, it can upset your hormone levels, um, lead to low potassium levels, um, noticeable weight changes. The cuts that don't heal. So there can be a lot of physical symptoms uh, that people might be seeing their family doctor first for. Uh, there's also behavioral health professionals that can assist as well with therapy. If we notice these things, certainly we should reach out for help. Correct. Yeah, good. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your information today. Thank you.